They nominally run at 12 volts, but once the engines reach 2000 RPMs, they automatically switch up to 48 volts. It helps dramatically with charging of the battery systems. And the idea is that you can eliminate generators on board. You use your outboards as a generator. These outboards have a 200 hour interval for service life. So they can go a full season and it charges the battery system so fast that you don't need to run them very long. We uh, paired these engines then with a battery system from MasterVolt. We have four 6,000 watt batteries on board uh, that are uh, ran in series so that we get up to 48 volts. And so we have essentially 12,000 watts at 48 volts of storage on board the boat. Um, when these are running though, they're running at 56 volts. So they're charging actually higher at 56 volts. Really? And we're getting 260 amps at 56 volts dumping into those batteries. And then we have some DC to DC uh, step down converters that then supplement the 12 volts. So the normal you know, system in the boat is 12 volts, sure. but then our high load is 48. So it's allowed us to do some cool stuff. So for example, we have a 48 volt Kenyan barbecue back here. Oh, that's very cool. This runs off the lithium battery direct. We also have a 48 volt bow thruster. We have a 48 volt drum windlass. And then we have a big 10,000 watt inverter on board that runs all our air conditioning and it runs our TVs and our microwave. So it's pretty neat. We're able to do some fun tech with it and it's quiet. So you get up on anchor. It's just like it is right now. You're on anchor and you're just running off the lithium. You don't have to put a generator on. That's Great for that. these marine sanctuaries. Absolutely.